hello. It's uh, quarter to ten now, um, about an hour after the last video, and uh, I've, oh, it's free cleaners coming by. You're not going to be able to hear me for a sec. All right. Um, yeah, I paused it because Fiona was coming down from her shower naked to get some clothes from the laundry room, and uh, after that I just moved on to other things, but um, uh, yeah, for anyone who thought that I was joking that my face gets red <clears throat> when I exercise, I just I just got back from a jog about 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes! I, I've been not exercising, at least, and it's still like this. People stare at me when I run. It's ridiculous. I mean, I don't blame them. Look at this. My sister says it happens to her, too. And she's in really, really, really good shape. It just it, it it's always happens since I was little. Not little, little, but... <coughs> Excuse me, you know, little enough to, um, little enough to, uh, exercise, seriously. Excuse me, something in my throat. Um, so, oh, yeah, close to the camera, that's even scarier. I thought, you know, it'll fade in, like, another half hour, but it's just embarrassing because, uh, I mean, looks like I'm gonna die. So, I left the house today. I, I went to walk the kids to school, and I wasn't planning on jogging right away. I was going to come back and get my, my, my coach stuff, and, and then I remembered that I had to leave the house around 10.45ish. You know, if I came back and found stuff and then left again, that would waste like 15 minutes, so I just decided to go right from their school. So I did a, a straight route. I just, I, I jogged down Vanderbilt to Grand Army Plaza and back, and um, it took uh, 18 minutes. For me to do that and um you know i was like okay i don't know how far that is let me go home and, and map quest that i was thinking if that's like if it's if, if that was a mile and a half then i'm doing great if i can do a 12 minute mile for this thing i i would be totally totally happy because i've been jogging like 13 or 14 minute miles so i get home and i map quest it and according to map quest i went 1.2 miles <laughs> Which means that I'm jogging a 15 minute mile. I can walk less than a 15 minute mile. I can walk like a 14 and a half minute mile on a treadmill. And I'm jogging a 15 minute mile. I, the only thing I can think of is that it's, um, the, I, I just went like there and back and there is uphill. And it's not hugely uphill, but you know, it's, it's uphill a decent amount. Maybe that really slowed me down. Maybe MapQuest isn't quite right. Maybe I wasn't timing it quite right. I mean, if anything is a little bit off, by just a couple of minutes or you know, a couple of, of tenths of a mile, that would really affect it since it was sh so short. But um, yeah, that's not good. I mean, number one, that would mean that I'm really, really fucking slow. But number two, it would mean that it would take me like, hold on, I have to do math. It would take me an hour, an hour to run this four mile thing. My goal was to be able to do it in 48 minutes or 50. All right, if I can do it in 50 minutes, I'll be okay. But um, an hour, that's just embarrassing. That would, hold on, I'm doing more math. What's, what's 24, okay, six. It means it would take me like six and a half hours to run a marathon, if I could even keep up that slow ass pace for the entire marathon. That's just pathetic. Anyway, but hey, I have a whole five more days to get faster, so let's see how it goes. But no, I mean, I don't think I can go faster than I just did. Not for, for almost four times that much. I, I'm going to have to talk to the person I'm running with because I think she's a runner. I think she's fast. And she's going to be so completely frustrated having to run with me for this thing. And if, you know, if there were, like, more people running with us, that would be one thing. There would be all different levels. But I think it's just me and her. So she's going to hate me. I'm going to make her look bad. Oh, well. Anyway, so I was talking about how... Um, Yesterday was Fiona's birthday. Friday was an exciting day. We, uh, it was a big day for Fiona. I took her out of school early to go to this Jennifer Garner thing for Frigidaire. Frigidaire is doing a, um, they were doing this charity thing for Save the Children, and I'll, I'll post the link on the bottom of here because if you go to their site, you can help them donate money to Save the Children, to help hungry children. And um, so it was this, this thing where we were making healthy snacks and... Um, we went to that. She had a fabulous, fabulous time. It was it was a lot of fun. Um, but on the way there, 
we're in a car, we're, we're on our way there, and she had, I had taken her out of lunch at school, so she would grabbed an apple with her, and she would like maybe third bite into the apple, blood everywhere, just dripping out of her mouth, and she's screaming, and her one loose tooth is just, just kind of hanging from, the, it, it was just almost out. She's freaking out. She's never lost a tooth before, so she didn't, I mean, she's seen Jake do it, but I don't know, the blood really surprised her, and she was screaming, and our poor driver is like this, he's, oh, my hands, he's, he's, he's just like gripping the wheel. The webcams are not good for doing things with your hands, because like, they're like, right here. Um, so our, our driver is just like, freaking, just like gripping the steering wheel and steering straight ahead. I mean, I thought he acted like somebody was giving birth in the back of the car. And I'm asking if he, him if he has any tissues and he doesn't understand me. And then finally he hands me a toothpick. And I'm like, no, no, she's losing her tooth. I need a tissue. Totally didn't get it. So I, I told him I had to stop at the next bodega that he saw. And Fiona was screaming. And I didn't know whether to bring her in with me, which would take longer, or just leave her in the car with this, this stranger who was not going to give her any kind of sympathy whatsoever. I just left her, ran into the store, grabbed a, a bottle of water and some tissue, and ran back out. And, um, and paid, and ran back out. And I get in the car, and he keeps driving, and I'm trying to convince her to just let me pull it out. I mean, he was just hanging there. She, she wouldn't let me near it. She was just screaming and screaming. And finally, I pulled out my camera and I said, Fiona, can I take a picture of it and show you how close it is to being out? So she said, okay, and she took her, took the tissue away and, and I took a picture. And once she saw that it was just hanging there, then she let me grab it and it came out so easily. And she cracks me up. She can turn the tears on and off like nobody I've ever seen. I mean, she was screaming and crying and sobbing. And then as soon as I pulled it out and showed it to her, she was like, that's it? And she was like, done. Drama over, not a sniffle cracks me up but then we went to that thing and then after that picked her and three of her friends up from school and we had a sleepover which was loud and hysterical and the kids had a, a really 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 good time and now of course she's begging for another one and um, I'm I'm not quite ready yet um I don't know my kids I your kids behave differently for you than they do for other people I'm sure but I mean I can I, I can tell Fiona to go get ready for bed, and you know, she might need a reminder or two, but she'll go get ready for bed. These girls, I think it was just because they were all together. Um, it was like herding cats trying to get, the, I thought it would take like 15 minutes to get them into their pajamas and teeth brushed and into their sleeping bags. It took like an hour and a half, two hours, it was ridiculous. And then I was prepared for like, um, whispering and giggling and getting up and no. I checked on them about 10 minutes later. They were all out. They were exhausted. So that was good. But then they woke up way earlier than Fiona would have woken up. At about 5.30, I think it was, um, my husband sat up in bed. He goes, I hear somebody coming down the stairs. And he, he slipped on pants real fast. And uh, by the time he opened our bedroom door, two of the girls were standing there holding hands. Um, they're like, we're really hungry but we're really tired. We don't know what to do. And both of us in unison are like, then go back to bed. So they went back upstairs and uh, then like half an hour later, they woke Fiona up, who normally would have slept until about eight o'clock on a Saturday. So that, that sucked a little bit. And I was very tired, but um, yeah, it was good. Everybody had a good time. And then I brought cupcakes into her school yesterday and uh, little Hannah Montana bags of crap and we took her to, to the Times Square Toys R Us yesterday to get the present her, her uh, grandmother had sent some money to buy her roller skates but she couldn't buy the roller skates because Fiona had to try them on so we took her to Toys R Us where of course she zeroed right in on the Hannah Montana roller skates so I hope this thing with Hannah Montana lasts because she now has a Hannah Montana watch Hannah Montana roller skates and Hannah Montana sheets and a, a comforter from her birthday so Hopefully she won't get tired of Hannah Montana in like six months. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going, time's it, oh, I have to get going. Um, I'm going to an event today for Jabra, um, some cool stuff that you can do with Bluetooth. So I'm excited about that because I love anything having to do with, with gadgets and electronics. Alright, so have a great day.